Okay, we're going to continue on the TheraBand parade here. We're going to use these TheraBands for some rows in the door. This thing is called a Thera loop, and we put the TheraBand through it so it prevents the TheraBand from tearing. If you don't have one of these, you can make a knot in the end of the TheraBand and also do what I'm about to do here. Take the nub and put it in the door, shut the door, and pull on it to be sure it's in. I'll take my hands around the TheraBands and I'll step back from the door. There's an imaginary piece of plywood from the top of the door right under my armpits so we don't move down and we don't move up. My shoulders, blades, can move this way, called protraction, and this way, retraction. So we're going to start in a protracted position and rather than retracting, I'm going to ask Alba to wrap her scapula. So rather than pulling them back, she's going to adhere them onto the rib cage and hold as she brings her thumbs back towards or to the chest and holds. As I release, my scapula is still holding onto my rib cage, and at the end, I'll let them go. Let's see if we can have Alba do the same. Grab on. Stagger your legs, have some tension on the band, have that piece of plywood holding position. Watch her scapula here, she'll protract them forward. Beautiful. Retract to show them what that looks like. Protract again, and then wrap them instead. Nice. Hold <coughs> them nice and stable. Go ahead and pull the elbows back now. Hold and then slowly release, still keeping your shoulder blades adherent, and then let the blades release. Let's do it one more time. Wrap your scaps, perfect. Elbows come back, thumbs approximate towards the shoulders, hold. Release, still holding your scapula in place, and then release the scapulae, perfect, nice.